This is a tire for sending it. A big thanks to my sponsors, Iba Cycles, Kitspo Cycling Apparel, Cali Protectives, Trust Performance, PNW Components, WTB, Industry 9, Camelback, Shimano, and Jensen USA. Any purchases from the below links at Jensen USA will directly help support my channel as well. What's up guys? Hope you're doing well. Today it's time for a little bit of tire talk. For a little bit of context, I worked at WTB for three years. I managed international sales and I really liked working there. It's a great group of folks right in Mill Valley at the base of Mount Tamalpais. And you can see their headquarters in the Sea Otter vlog video from a little while ago. I'm a little bit curious if you guys here, my YouTube audience, if you take WTB tires seriously or not. And I think that's a fair question. I've loved them for many years and that prompted me to work there and I've stuck with them ever since and I really do believe in them. Schwalbe and Maxxis are huge players, so I'm surprised that a brand that small is able to compete so well with them. What do you guys think? Have you heard of WTB tires and have you ridden them? What do you think? This tire here is the WTB Judge 2.4 Tough Fast Rolling. That's a lot, huh? Today I want to get into what exactly is in that name and why I like this tire so much. So I came from a Trail Boss tire. I really like the Trail Boss, I really like the Riddler, and the Trail Boss has decent braking, but it doesn't brake nearly as well as the Judge. The other thing the Judge does really well is cornering. These side knobs are huge. They have a ton more support than the smaller side knobs on the Trail Boss, and because they're spaced pretty far apart, there's more room for each knob to actually get a bite of dirt. The siping on the tire, which are these little lines, is done really effectively. This sipe here on the side of the cornering knob, that's an extra edge. So when you're cornering, the outside of the corner knob is digging into the ground, and then the sipe, this small line here, is providing a second working edge to find traction on the ground. Now, you'll notice that for climbing traction or for braking traction, there's a sipe on this larger paddle. Once I got the judge on the trail, it really surprised me, first and foremost, how much traction I had on steep technical climbs. The judge tire honestly inspired quite a few more of my tech climb videos than even the Vigilante, which is my other go-to for gnarly tech climbs. I was pumped on how much I could get away with just pedaling up steep, loose, rocky hillsides. I didn't really think that braking traction would be that big of a deal. Normally I do a lot of front braking rather than rear, but I tried this thing and it kind of woke me up a little bit as to what's possible with that much more of an aggressive rear tire. Back when I was racing a bunch, WTB Pro racer Marco Osborne was also racing quite a bit, and we used to have some good battles, and then he only got faster. Marco's been riding the Judge in the rear, but he also uses it on the front for more hard pack courses, because the size of those side knobs with their extra support means they're more predictable than, say, a Vigilante side knob would be. I've done a couple videos now about the different WTB tire levels with the tough casing versus the light casing, the high grip rubber versus the fast rolling rubber. This one here is a tough casing with the high grip rubber and it uses the new Tri-Tech compound, which is instead of just two durometers, it's three. And the way that works out, the whole base from the bottom of the outside knob all the way to the other side, that whole base is gonna be a 65 durometer, which is pretty firm. Now they've used that as a base compound because it prevents the top of the tire knob from having a loose foundation. The center knobs, so these guys right here, they're a little bit softer, so you get a bit more traction, and 65 is really hard. I don't know how much softer these center knobs are, 
but it's substantially softer than the 65, and it's soft enough that the braking traction is good, but it's not so soft that it's crazy, incredibly slow on a climb. I don't hesitate to do long 30 mile rides with this tire on here. With the Trail Boss, I would do that too. But with a Vigilante, my other nuclear option for rear tire traction, I don't like doing big, long, pedally rides because it's so slow. I think part of why this thing feels more efficient is not just the tread design, but also that Tri-Tech compound. The side knobs use a very soft rubber compound. And because that soft rubber is above a firmer rubber, it's well supported, so it's not gonna squirm around too much on a hard pack surface like a bike park berm. Now I'm gonna go out on a limb here and tell you guys about two things that I don't really like about the Judge tire. First up, if you're doing lots of wheelies, it's kind of hard to keep the bike going in a straight line of how rounded the profile of the Judge is. The Trail Boss had the same thing, but the Vigilante of how much more square it is, it's really easy to keep the bike going straight. For the same reason of that, the tire works great if you're pumping manuals through corners. I'm totally happy with that sacrifice there. I don't need to do mile long wheelies every single day. The other slight downside is pedaling efficiency. It's not bad by any means. I do not hesitate to do longer rides with the setup, but if I was more of a cross country rider and just always pounding out big distances and if I had a ton more gravel road in my life, I might consider going back to the Trail Boss because the Trail Boss does roll a little bit more efficiently. I've been riding WTB tires and I'm really happy with them. I think you guys would like them too. I have a link in my YouTube description below to Jensen USA. They're a great sponsor of mine and they've got a ton of WTB tires in stock. If you're not sure which option of the WTB tires makes the most sense for you, you can give the guys at Jensen a call and ask for their guidance. They've got a ton of experience with these and the competition so they can point you in the right direction. Jensen's a good supporter of mine too. So anytime you can get something from Jensen, that helps all of us out. Let me know in the comments. WTB is a smaller tire brand. They're quite a bit smaller than Maxxis and Schwalbe. So have you tried these tires yourself? Have your friends tried them? What's your perspective of the WTB tires? I really like them. I hope you do too, but I'm open to feedback. Right on guys, it's been fun talking bikes. I'll see you on the trail. And remember, if you like this video, do me a favor, click subscribe. If you're watching from your friend's computer, click subscribe for them too. I'll see you guys around.